Hello and welcome to this second advanced Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I will be continuing the RPG game using arrays. So if you missed the first part, check that out on my channel. So now we're going to draw the tiles themselves. So uh, use any drawing program you like. I just use paint because it comes free with all Windows computers. So what you need to do is create a file and save it as the same name as you've got the file name here. So I've got mine tile one and it's saved as a bitmap file, so make sure you have .bmp. And I have made this, if you go on image attributes, specifically fifty by fifty. And that is why I've spread them out the tiles out fifty times so they all fit nicely together on the screen. So this is uh, my first tile, which is basically the empty space. So I'll I'll just make this grass, um, and let's colour it in green and just make it nice. Give it a few different shade of green. Just dot it around. It doesn't matter what you do. This is just an idea. You can copy if you want or make your own images. Um, and make sure you save that file. Save. And now I'm going to have my next tile. So I'll have tile 2 as well. So you need to set this in your variables as well. Tile 2, tile2.bmp. Make sure this is saved saved in the same folder as the bullets file. So I'll go ahead, open up tile 2, zoom in. And this is the path on here. So I'll make this grey colour. Oh, that's not very good grey. And again, it might be nice just to add a few dots <laughs> just makes it look nicer rather than just cubes save that and we'll do our third tile now so I'm just copying and pasting this tile 3 and we will load tile 3.bmp save that I've saved the image and now I'll open up tile 3 and as you see this is saved in my C directory which is the same directory as my blitz file so it will be able to find them. For this one it's going to be where the lake is so I'll colour it in blue with a few nice little twinkly bits. I'll give them just a nice little shade of white and I'll save that and now when I go ahead and run this hopefully it should display my tiles and I've just remembered for the purpose of demonstrating this I need to set the graphics to comma 2 just so it's not full screen so you can see this and also I need to save tile 3 so I'll just do that now okay now when I run it you should be able to see it so Oh, it's gone. I'll run it again. So what happens is you see the tiles, but it says out of data. And also, I'm missing the lake, so I'll just sort that out quickly. So I've just noticed the really big stupid mistake I've made in that the data, I've set the lake as 3, and I'm checking if it's 2. So I, I'll just change it to 2. It doesn't matter. I could change it to 3 down here but I just want to keep it so they're all numbers next to each other so I'll save that and now when I run this you see I have the lake I have the grass and the grey path however it says out of data and this is because it is reading the data continuously um, and once it's finished it it's still going to be reading it all and it says it's out of data to look for so we only want to load it all once so to do that I'll create a new variable called global read info and we'll have this equal to one and we're only going to read all the values when this value this variable read info is one so I'll say if read info equals one then and then we'll read this and it will only read it when this variable equals one so after we've done this loop once I'm going to say read info equals zero 
so when it loops again it won't bother reading them all again and we won't get that error message saying um, that there's no more data so after it's gone to this function from the main loop and it's gone through all of these different items once and it goes back and then does this function again it won't bother reading them again so now if we run it we just get our window and you see it keeps on refreshing with the images now the only problem is there's this black line around it and that's because it's timesing all the positions of where to draw the tiles by 50 so the first tile which has x and y values of 1 are times by 50 so it draws them at 50 50 and so they all start from around here but I want them to start, start at the top left so simply we'll just minus all the x and y positions by 50 um, to do this we'll just put all the x and y positions in brackets and then minus 50 so it still times is them by 50 but then it just moves them back a bit and I will just have that section and I'll copy this for all the different tiles like this okay let's save and now when you run it we get the tiles <laughs> full screen no border along the edge and it has the same pattern as you see as I've selected here and of course the good thing about this is I can change it very simply so say I want to put a lake in here then I would just go into my program and add some twos and say I could extend the path to go upwards here put some ones make sure you don't add extra values like that because otherwise it won't work properly and you'll see it sticks out at the end so make sure you're just replacing the values that are already there so save it and now as you see I have got another lake here and extended the path so you can edit your levels very simply um, in tutorials that will follow on from this I will show you how um, you can create a character that runs around the map and you can extend the map so you can run around and I would continue on that helicopter program I showed you before making the helicopter an animated little movie that moves around which is called an animated image and improve that so this concludes using the arrays um, but we'll continue on with this RPG game I cannot guarantee that I will bring you more Blitz Plus tutorials I've made these two and I hope you enjoy these and you may see more in the future but I cannot say that for definite and I hope you've followed these they are advanced so if you don't get them I'm sorry you, you'll learn eventually and have fun making your maps post any comments questions like and subscribe so thank you for all my subscribers to this channel and everyone who's been waiting for these blitz tutorials and I hope you enjoy these two new ones bye